Hello, welcome to the Euros Football Quiz, and today we are joined by Aaron Hunt. How are you doing, mate? Well done, mate. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Somebody that's, uh, you know, had, had the experience of a lot of league football with Bolton, uh, Bolton Wanderers in, uh, you know, quite a few divisions. Yeah, less said about that, the better, I think, mate. Luckily, this is yours. I can hear him maybe. laughing, yeah. I've got my <laughs> Turkish shirt on for Mustafa. Yeah. Obviously, Mustafa crap, Turkish international. Go so on. I'm sat here in a Turkish shirt now recording this. Who do you think is going to win the Euros, Aaron? What do you reckon? I think France. I think on paper they do have yeah. the best squad. I don't think we'll win anything under Southgate. I think we was very lucky to get to the final last time looking at the run we had. I think the only decent team we've beat under him is Germany. Yeah. Other than that, if we beat Sweden, Denmark, it seems that you expect to beat. We've been lucky with the runs we've had. I guess so. I either want us to win it or early exit and get him gone because I'm sick of watching it. It's boring, isn't it? I'm pretty sure even if he won it, I don't know, would he, would he leave if he won it? I think he would have end on a high. The last thing last thing you want to see is once it's finished, you get to a final, narrowly misses out, and it's like, yeah, he'll stay for the next tournament, and it's like, oh, God, no, please, just go. But let's talk about something more important before we get into today's quiz, your online privacy and security. If you're going to be going on holiday at any point during the Euros, I would highly recommend today's sponsor, Proton VPN, because what you can do is make sure you capture every single tackle, every single goal, and every single moment of the European Championships just to be able to see, you know, every... I, I like to watch every single game, and let's say you're going on holiday. It could be anywhere, really, anywhere in the world. It could be America, it could be Spain, it could be Portugal. Wherever you're going, if you've got this VPN, A, you can obviously watch BBC and ITV, and with 5,000 servers in 91 different countries, you'll be covered wherever you go. So you don't need to worry at all about missing a moment of the European Championships. And for a limited time, only through my link, guys, you can get one month free of Proton VPN if you do get yourself a one year plan. If you get a two year plan, you get three months free. So really good value for money. Obviously, getting yourself like, what is it, 27 months um, for the two year plan. If you go through my link, which is uh, protonvpn.com slash Luke Pingu, get started now. Your privacy is Proton's priority. Let's dive into the first question. Let's go. It wants go. to be a millionaire style question. Right, let's go. Which country is appearing at the 2024 tournament in the Euros for the very first time? Is it Albania, Ukraine, Georgia, or Iceland? I'll, I'll talk you through me working out. Ukraine have definitely been in it because didn't Ukraine and Poland host it? Like, what was it, like 2008 or something, or 2012 or something like that? You're on the right lines there, I'll give you. Um, Iceland, they've fucking knocked us out once. So yeah. who's the other two? Albania and Georgia. Oh, it's, it's pretty much a coin toss between those two. I think I did see something. What's that fella called who plays for Napoli? Kovacic Dilia, is he called? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think it was like he, he is playing in the first ever Euros for the country. So I'm going to lock that in, you know. I'm going to go for Georgia. And Georgia is the correct answer. Well worked out, Aaron. Uh, See, so yeah, I showed me working out and everything, Pingu. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell you which. Uh, I assume maybe one of those, like, Ukraine one. Yeah, the one in 2012 was Ukraine. So I don't know when Albania were last at the Euros, to be I honest. don't know when they was, but I, like, I, like I said, I saw that thing about the plane in the first ever one. So luckily I sit on Instagram for a lot of the time and Twitter. To be fair... Albania only qualified for the 2016 one. So they only just did one. Oh, yeah. Um, All right. Fair enough, so. then, yeah. Well done for choosing Georgia. Cheers, mate. Thank you. How many points is that? Just one. Just one. It's better just than none, isn't it? It's better than none. Right. Into the next round it is Football Connect. I'm going to tell you four different players, and you have to guess the previous club that they've all played for. Okay. And the first player is Jaden Filigene. Oh, my God. What a baller. I'll be honest with you, I've never heard of him. You know heard of Filigene? It's uh, Hull, the one who did no. that, like, Rabona goal. I'd probably know him if I'd seen him, but I've not heard that kind of... mm. Well, So I have to guess what, who he's played for? Yeah, a previous club of his. <laughs> the only one that I know is Hull, because you've just said it. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have to go for Hull, then. Not Hull. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> what, what would I give you the answer? <laughs> I didn't think so. There you go, mate. The next player, you would have heard of him, is Ross McCormack. Yeah, I have heard of him. But he does um... have quite a few clubs. Yeah, he's played all over the place, him. Scottish lad, isn't he? Mm hmm. Ross McCormack. Do you know what? I'm going to have a little bit of a punt that this Philogene bloke has played over in Scotland. And obviously, I think Ross would have done. Do you know what? I'm going to have a punt at here. I'm going to have a punt at Aberdeen. It's not Aberdeen. Is it um, not? Scott McCormack was Rangers in Motherwell, in Scotland. Is it you say Scott McCormack then? Yeah, say Scott McCormack. You're Ross McCormack. Yeah. <laughs> Scott McCormack. Uh, the third player for two points is Gareth Barry. Oh, Barry. Now, yep. let's have a think. He's done quite a few in England. 
I'm torn between Villa and Everton, and I think it is going to be one of them. I'm going to go for Aston Villa, please. And that is the correct answer for two points, well done, Aaron. It is Come on, Villa. get in, get in. Obviously, two points. Yeah. Mike Cash to finish off would have been a tap yeah, in for would, you. It would have uh, been a tap in. Yeah, Villa Jenny was like youth and then played about three games for Villa. Uh, Ross McCormack played about 20 three for games. Villa. You are yeah, it, horrible, yeah. Pingu. But that's for five points, Aaron. That's yeah, for five true, points. true, yeah. And Hull did buy him from Villa, so. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I'll put that two points with me other point, so. Three. Yeah, there you go. I'm not doing too bad. Right then, Aaron, into the next round. It is guess the player. I'm going to tell you the five different clubs that the player's played for. You have to guess yep. who it is. Okay. And the first club is Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Well, it's not going to be one of the big stars. It's going to be some journeyman. Random, yeah. It's going to be a journeyman. Do you know who I'm going to go for? Yep. I'm going to have a punt straight away at that Jossaloo. It's not Jossaloo. The next club I'll give you is Barcelona. Oh, it's a good one, isn't it? There's not many who's played for both, is there? I I know someone who has played. Oh, I know a couple who's played for both. I'm gonna have a pop with Luis Figo, please. It's not Luis Figo. I don't think he's got five clubs to be honest, because he does only he have those two: Inter and Benfica. I thought I he might have done a little bit somewhere. Oh, where do we go next? That is tricky. Give you Sunderland next. Sunderland. My next guess for both of them would have probably been R9, but he's not played for bloody Sunderland, has he? It's not going to be a big star from Real Madrid and Barcelona this then. It's going to be someone who's like just randomly been there for a little bit. Oh, Pingo, what are you doing to me? I mean, I'll, I'll torture you even more with the next club. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Sunderland. In no particular order. Kind of like, I don't know, least to most appearances is the order generally. But Any guess? I'm gonna to have to have one, aren't I? But I honestly can't think. I'm gonna. Go, I don't even think he's played for any of these clubs. But I've done this before with Kevin Nolan. Um, I'm gonna go for Stephen and Zonzi. It's not in Zonzi. The next club is Bone Wanderers. Oh no, no! Oh my God! It's not, is it? What? It's not Nicholas and Elka, is it? It's not Nicholas and Elka, no, mate. Oh no! And the final club actually is Chelsea. I know it is. Oh no, I don't know that you said Chelsea. Most games for Chelsea. Real, this is the Real Madrid one that's putting me off. Yeah, I don't think you'd have seen him play for Real Madrid. But have you seen start. him play for Real Madrid? No. I know he came from there. Now he's at Barca. And he's done most games for Chelsea. This one might drive you crazy. I know what it's going to be though. It's going to be like, right, he played 20 minutes for Sunderland. He played three games for Bolton. No, 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 you got 35 for Bolton. One one for Real Madrid, I'll give you that. Um, one. Yeah. That's why I put it first, mate. Did you say, did you let slip the news at Barcelona? No. I'll give you that, Aaron. Yeah, why not? Oh, God, I don't want zero points. Current Barcelona player that's played for Bolton. Go on, mate. Oh, my God, it's Marcus Alonso. There we go, mate. <laughs> oh, my God. When did he go to Real Madrid? When did he come from Madrid? Is he's Madrid like academy and then played one game? And you know, I probably should have got it after Bolton and Chelsea, but I never would have guessed that he was at Sunderland. Don't remember that. Yeah. Uh, what if I throw in Fiorentina? Would that have helped at all? Or um, no, it wouldn't no, have helped. I don't, I don't watch so. Syria. Oh, uh, is that one more point? Yep. So into the next round, it is tic tac toe. One point for each correct player. Three in a row, you get a bonus three points as well. What would you like to start with, Aaron? I would like to start with. We're in the Euros, aren't we? This is very original. Let's have a Euros winner. Yeah, good. Nice. I was actually going to put that on my side if you didn't, so... You can put it, as, done put it it. You put it as well if you want. Be a nice, what? easy one. Just, just, yeah, nice, easy <laughs> tap in. <laughs> Let's go for the Dutch. Yeah, just Dutch since I'm wearing the Netherlands kit. Dutch, right then. Let's go for someone who's played for Inter Milan. You like a bit of Syria, don't you? Yeah. Do, do we throw them on, Aaron? Do we throw them on? The I Roma. know what you're thinking. The Roma. You love it. Yeah, go on then. Right then, I'll have... I'll go for Arsenal. I will end off with... Oh, what should we go for? Let's right, rise to the challenge, Aaron. By Leverkusen. Oh, who gets to go first? Uh, you do. You I like? get to go first. Right then. I'll take that middle square if I can. Yep. And take Nyan Golan. Yep, Roger. What a player. Crazy guy. He got um, one point straight off the bat. Look at that. Yep, tap in. Um, I will go 
Let's go Dutch Arsenal, Dennis Bergkamp. Yeah, I was thinking about having that one. Let's take Dutch into Milan and have Schneider. Wesley. Big yeah. Wesley, yeah. Got Dumfries there at the minute and um, De Vry. Yeah, I always pick the boring ones, don't I? Nah, Wesley's good. Good little player. Uh, by Leverkusen into Milan, I will say Lucio. That one. Oh, that's a nice one, that. We'll take Roma and Arsenal. And I will go for the man with the biggest forehead in history, Jovino. Not bad. Uh, that is a Sheff- forehead, that, isn't it? That's a proper fivehead. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's still playing, I'm sure, as well, weirdly. Yeah. At, like, whatever, 38. I he was crap at manager. Arsenal, wasn't he? He was so bad at Arsenal. I mean, he wasn't. Like, for, for how like formidable like he's yeah. known, he wasn't actually there at Arsenal all that long. I think he was no. about a season and a half. But he's just remembered so well. Yeah, I, I see him on Football Manager all the time, and I'm like, it, will he be good in League One? <laughs> Could you afford him? Could you afford his wages in League e- One? Easily, but is he good enough at uh, whatever 38? Probably yeah. not. Euros and Aroma player. Whoa. Trying to think of da, 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 da. anyone from that squad. Ooh. Have you got a locked in answer for this, Aaron? Ready to go? I've not got one locked in, but I'm, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm working on so, it. Yeah, I guess I'll just go Renato Sanchez then. It's a nice, easy one for you. Yeah. Pretty sure he went in 2016, didn't he? He would have been in the team, surely. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of crazy because he's 26 now and that was eight years ago. All right, I'll take Leverkusen at Arsenal. Let's get Granit Xhaka in there. Mm-hmm. And then your Dutch Euros winner. They I would have in. gone. I probably would have gone as far back as, like, Cruyff. You're going too far back, mate. It's more recent. Is it that was... too far? Yeah, it's like 1988, so you need like... A Hullet or something. Yeah, we'll go Hullet, mate. Yeah, sure. Cheers for that, mate. It's all right. You'd have got it anyway, wouldn't you? I mean, there's a few. Like, I don't know if... I think Van Basten's got it. Um, maybe the De Boer brothers maybe have it. Yeah. Something, something like that anyway. No, Just I need a Leverkusen Euros winner for yeah, an extra point. Yeah. yeah, I could win it and get absolutely nothing as well. Listen, you don't need anything. Your best shout is probably... Somebody from Germany's 1996 winning team. Yeah. I think. Less. I'm gonna have a pop. Oh, I'm gonna I'm going back too early there, I think, for him. I was think I was thinking Balak, but surely he weren't playing in ninety six. He might have been. When was he at Chelsea? Two thousand and six ish, seven ish. I'll go for Oliver Kahn. Ooh. I don't know if he played for Leverkusen or not. Do I do think he has the Euros though. I think he does actually have it in nineteen ninety six. Who can? Yeah, he does have it. Has he but played? I don't think he's played for Leverkusen. He's not, no. He's Would got Balak have worked or not? Balak, Mr. Runner-Up. Um, oh, has he not won it? So Balak, Balak's ever, only ever won titles. He's never won Champions League. He's got World Cup runner-up and European uh, Championship runner-up. Well, there you go. I wouldn't have got it either way, would I? No, no. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because he won the title with Kaiserslautern in 1998. So you're yeah. not... Only a couple of years out, to be fair, but nah, he was playing in like the second Bundesliga when Germany won it. Go on then, finish us off then. Um, oh, any recent uh, stuff? I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, I might have a punt in that. I'm gonna try Danny Carvajal for 2012 with Spain, as he played for Leverkusen for sure. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We've. Got oh my one. God, we've got one. Go on then. <laughs> Former Real Madrid manager in the 2000s. It's Bern Schuster. Won it with uh, by Leverkusen, the Euros in 1980. Oh, do you know what? He would have been my next guess as well. He actually, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> that is a shafting, but go on. How many points did I rack up there? Four points. Four points, mate. Well done. Add them to the, add them to the total. What's I'm that, ten? There we go. Uh, yeah. Into the next round, then, it is football bingo. One point for each correct answer on the grid. We will start your timer when you're ready, Aaron. I'm going to have one quick drink of water here. Wet the old whistle. Hang on. What do you prefer, by the way, Vimto or Ribena? Vimto, for sure. Ribena's really, I don't know, bold. Is that the yeah, right word for it? Yeah, a bit heavy-handed. Yeah, yeah. Right, come on. I'm ready. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. Mock Cucurella. Cucurella, um... Spain. Yeah, David Beckham. He can't play with himself. English top div winner. Yep. Uh, Jordan Pickford. 
English. Yep. Uh, Andreas Pereira. Uh, Brazil. Yep. Pau Torres. Pau Torres. Spanish winner. You going for top div? Uh, Carlos of Valderrama. Ooh. Can I pass or not? Yeah, yeah, skip him. Pass. If, if not. Uh, Giovanni Reina. Giovanni Reina. Pass. Tiago Silva. Uh, pass. Oh. I might that bird e off the chase. Yeah, even I'm for two. Even I'm for two. Yeah, pass again. In Kunku. French. There we go. Uh, Jao Pedro. Former Watford lad. Yeah, pass. Uh, Vinicius Junior. Brazil top div, surely. Yeah, I think he did just before. Steve McManaman. Steve McManaman. Uh, Man City. Yep. Uh, Boban. Never heard of him. Pass. Avel Pardo. Pass. Jao Cancelo. Pass. Dino Zoff. Dino Zoff. Pass. Or Virgil van Dijk. Uh, pass. Jack Grealish, your mate. My mate, Jack. Um, yeah. yeah, pass. None of them. None of them. I Michelle think I know he's been mate. Platini, yeah. uh, yeah. Italy. Michel Platini. Is he not? Is he not Italian? No. Have you put it down, Aaron? Are you putting it down? World Cup winner then. He's not done either. Uh, Kingsley Coleman. <laughs> Coleman. Um, pass. Edward Mendy. Edward Mendy. Pass. Thierry Henry. World Cup. There we go. Eusebio. Pass. Aka. Inter. Oh. Uh, oh, I've gone Salvia. for the wrong Milan, I know. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, who's the next one? Raquel May. Pass. And uh, there's your time, Aaron. Do you know what? Yeah. It's a lot harder when, you, when you're when doing it. Yep, yep, yep. If you're yeah, just so... looking at it and you weren't being filmed and that, it'd be easier. Mm -hmm. no, How many uh, did I get? No Inter for Kaka. Oh, God, no, do you know what? I was thinking of the wrong Milan. Yep, you were. I don't think Pal Torres will win it. I no, think he did. Just... Do you know what? When I said that, I was thinking that nothing would happen. I weren't thinking that you'd take it away if I got it wrong. So that's why I just had a punt. Just put it out, yeah. Because I knew that he was at Villarreal, weren't he? But mm, and Malaga, but uh, yeah, never, never won Spanish top. Did when you crossed it off, I thought I've lost one. Yeah, I thought I'd just be able to keep guessing. Did that. Uh, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is half the board, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think. I'm trying to think what you could have had potentially. Um, could I have Kaka playing with Beckham? Yeah, I think at Ace all round. Yeah, AC. Yeah. I don't know actually. Maybe not. Maybe not. They might have switched over. Yeah, Kaka. Oh, do you know what? That's really funny with the years. Did they just cross over? Yeah, because Beckham goes to Galaxy. Yeah. And then when he's loaned back to Milan, Kaka's at Madrid. And then when Kaka came back to Madrid, Beckham's at PSG. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think they do cross over weirdly. So, maybe you just got a bit unlucky with the draw of the players. I don't think you got anything Everton. You didn't get any Ajax, I don't think. So, I think you did as best as you could, to be honest. Yeah. With uh, what you were given. Did my best. It wasn't good enough. Into the next round, Aaron, is Football Stat Attack. Ten points if you are bang on with the number of... I probably should give more, to be honest, but I feel like ten points is probably... Yeah. Some people might just know. Uh, five points if you're ten away, two points if you're 50 away, and one point if you are 100 away. Okay. And your player, to guess the number of appearances for Manchester United, is Wayne Rooney. Rooney! Go on. Fair play to you, mate. Well... Do you know, I, it's mad because I went from chilling with Simple Simon and Luke Bennett to kicking ball with Rooney around his gaff, you know. And now, and now you're guessing how many appearances. Yeah, <laughs> I'm guessing. 
Well, I know he was the leading all-time goal scorer, and I believe his goals are in... I think they're in the high 200s. You are right in thinking that. So let's be logical here. He ain't scoring a goal a game. He's probably looking a goal every other game. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Do some working out if you want. Do some calculations I'll for you. I'll do some working out in my head. I'm guessing a goal every other game or slightly higher. So all comps this year. Yeah, yeah. League, cup. Champions League and all that. It's going to be around the 600s somewhere because he did drop back a lot towards the end of his career. High 600s. Do you know what? I'm going to have a, I'm going to lock an answer in. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that Wayne Rooney for Man United made 695 appearances. You're a little bit too high, Aaron. It's uh, 559 as oh, the total. No. Is he aver- he's kind of a- he is averaging about 40 a season. And yeah. he did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Even under Jose, he did actually not so many in the league, but he made up for him in like the Cup and Europe. Because obviously they got to the Europa League final that year with Jose. So, oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Have I not got a point though? I don't think you've got a single point, have you? No, cause you I've not got a point though. That's upsetting. At least we had a good story. Yeah, we had a story, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> right then, Aaron, for your tenable category, what I'd like you to name me are 10 players to play for five or more Premier League clubs. So they've had to have been Premier League clubs when they played for the club. It can't just be like, oh, it's like Ipswich player, yeah. but they played in championship. Right, okay. So he has to have, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get you. Mm-hmm. Let's start off then with the obvious one. James Milner. James Milner would have Manchester City, Liverpool, Brighton, Aston Villa, and Newcastle. Uh, potentially even Leeds in the Leeds, fans, I think, yeah, yeah, Leeds, yeah. yeah. James Milner is tenable. Right. Let's move straight on with Gareth Barry. Oh, Gareth Barry. He might only have four. Because mm, he did a lot of numps, like he's he's consistent all the time. He has no, got I, I As- think he will have five actually. Aston Villa, Man City, Everton, and West Brom. So that's just only four, four mate. Just the four. There's your first oh, life no. gone. Right. Let's go again. Mm-hmm. Let's go for Daniel Sturridge. Sturridge has. Man City, Chelsea, was he Bolton in the Prem with you? Yep. Yep, Liverpool and then West Brom. Yeah, only just to be fair. He's got the five though, so it does work. Only just. Listen, posting in, but it doesn't matter, does it? Yep, yep. Right, trying to think. Journeyman. Mm -hmm. It'd be easy if it was just five clubs, but they have to have played in the Premier League for that club. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nicholas Anelka. Nicholas Anelka is terrible. He'll have well. what? Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Bolton, City. Well, he's basically got West Sturridge's Brom. career plus um, Arsenal. So Yeah. It's kind of crazy because Daniel Sturridge is an Arsenal fan as well. So, so he, he's got six of them. Yep. Anelka with six. Three so far, Aaron. Three. We're well, going well. I've still got two lives left as well. Do you know what? I'm drawn to thinking about a goalie for some reason, but I think that's the wrong, wrong route to go down. Stay away from goalies, I think. Who's played for eight clubs? Bloody hell. He's been about, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. Are some of these well-known players, or are they just like... Yeah, yeah. You definitely... You'll be kicking yourself with a few of these names when I say them. Oh, will if I? You don't, if you don't get them, yeah. Right, okay. For, ju- for Journey, man. You know, they're, they're... I'm just counting up. Hang on a minute. Let me just... I'm just... Mm-hmm. I'm debating. I'll, I'll tell you about working out. I'm debating Peter Crouch, but I'm just working out who he represented in the Premier League. I'm not sure if he only played for Southampton in the Championship. Definitely played for Liverpool, Tottenham, Portsmouth, Villa in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Oh, then Stork. Yeah, Peter Crouch. Yep. Peter I forgot Crouch about is... Stork. I forgot about Stork. Peter Crouch is seven, mate. He's got Burnley as well in the Prem. Oh, yeah. Then he went to Burnley, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Did he play yeah, for okay. Southampton in the Premier League? Or was that? Yeah, yeah. Southampton in the Prem as well. All right, there we go then. Is that the one who you're surprised I've not said? Yeah, yeah. That's that's as now you, now you got him. There's there's a, there's a new number of names here as well that you will be like yeah they they make a lot of sense. Right, I've got four points then. Yeah. Gary Cale. Let's have a look. Chelsea, Bolton, 
Oh, I think he's just missed out. Oh, he's only got the four, mate. Yeah. He's only got the four. No, no, no. Is, he didn't. I think he got Bournemouth promoted. If I'm not, did he get him promoted? Yeah, he did. He got him promoted, but then didn't come into the Premier League season with him. There is another Bolton centre back. A Bolton centre back. Who's, who's got a lot of clubs? A Bolton centre back with a lot of clubs. He's got seven actually. He's got seven Premier League clubs. Bloody hell. Mhm. Mm what sort of era are we talking? Uh, 2000s. Yeah, 2000s, 2010s, kind of. Oh my God. Is it Zat Knight? Not the one I was looking for, but is he? does he work? No, he won't do. He'll only no, have Villa, Bolton, Fulham. Fulham, Villa, Bolton. Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's all your lives gone, mate. Who is you thinking of, then? Uh, he has played for... I'll give you his clubs, Aaron. He's played for Bolton, Manchester City, Sunderland, Portsmouth, West Ham, QPR and Chelsea. Shall I tell you it? Go on, then. I'll tell you it, mate. It's uh, Tal Benayum. Oh, I didn't think Ben Aima played for that many. And do you know what? I've actually guessed him as well in another game that we've played on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did the Bolton Chelsea. Yeah, I did. And you got him. Yeah, for that. That's funny. Um, number one on the list is Marcus Bent with eight clubs. He's got Marcus Palace, Bent. Blackburn, Ipswich, Leicester, Everton, Charlton, Wigan and Wolves. I guess he's just a relegation merchant, just yeah. gets relegated. And then the team that gets promoted take him. Yeah. Andy Cole's another one. He got Newcastle. Man United, City, Blackburn, United, yeah, yeah, Fulham, Sunderland, Craig Bellamy is in Bellamy. there as well. Yeah, oh. uh, Wayne Routledge, uh, Robbie Keane, there's a good one. Villa, Liverpool, City. West Ham and Coventry. Villa. Did uh, play for Villa. Yeah, yeah, got Villa. Uh, Scott Parker, another one. Quite a few. Yeah. London clubs and Newcastle. Yeah, so um, like he's been like, what, Charlton, West Ham, Fulham. Mm -hmm. Tottenham, Chelsea uh, Les Ferdinand, another one Big Les, he's been at Bolton Yeah, yes, yeah yeah. There's there's another Bolton related one And uh, Nick Nick Barmaby If you remember him, the winger Did he play for City? Uh, no, Tottenham, Middlesbrough, Everton Liverpool uh, Leeds and Hull In the Premier League But uh, Oh my god, what's my score there? I'm sure there's plenty of others uh, I think it's 20 mate Um is that the lowest we've had? So, yeah, so far. Um, what goalkeeper would you have said, by the way, Aaron? Oh, it's David James, isn't it? Yeah, David James has got oh, exactly five clubs. Liverpool, um, City, Villa. Yeah. Is it Villa? Um, no, not Villa. Look. I literally looked at it and then closed it. Um, but da -da -da -da. West Ham, yeah, Villa. And Bournemouth. Port Portsmouth. Oh, Portsmouth, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. So uh, there you go, mate. He actually played down in League One for Bournemouth. Right at the end of his career. Yeah, I knew um, that he played though. Yeah. That's 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 my bit of You're gonna be think you're gonna be thinking about this all day now. That's it. Do you know what I need to do? I need to not think about this. I'm gonna yeah. go shopping mm -hmm. and not think about players who's played for five clubs. That's no. what I'm gonna do. Anyway. That's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you drop a like if you did. Drop a follow to Aaron as well if you haven't already. And we'll catch you all tomorrow.